Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I think I finally got one of my final pieces I needed for my more somewhat permanent heating solution in my shop. And before I get to that, this I found on Craigslist, uh, I don't know, two, three years ago. And this is part of my final solution. It's a Lennox Pulse furnace. Can't remember if this one was natural gas or uh, propane. I think it was natural gas. But somehow it pulses in there. Don't know how it works really. But none of that stuff really matters anyways. Basically is what I got it for is just the, the shell so it looked pretty and stuff. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a hot water heat exchanger inside this box. But the nice thing about this box is that it has controls and stuff in here. It's, you know, like in here for uh, your 24 volt AC for running relays and stuff like that and running thermostats um there's supposed to be a fan in here i don't remember if i use that on something or what the deal is but well that's where it'd be and then a filter going there so all this garbage is going to come out put a heat exchanger in here and then that leaves me the opportunity to be able to put a a coil on top here and have air conditioning in the shop also because it gets rather humid in minnesota and it's not so much for the air conditioning but it's for humidity control here is what i've been waiting to find for quite some time a wood boiler but not just any wood boiler. This is a central boiler, dual fuel ready. That's so what that means is you can burn wood in there or a different fuel source here. And is so what they recommend is either fuel oil or as this one's set up, propane. And I don't have the cover so I can take it off right now there's a electronic air flipper deal solenoid in there sorry for all the technical terms that opens and closes to allow air in to uh, get the fire going just uh, comes through here there's the dual fuel mechanism might be kind of hard for you guys to see but there's a little door that flips up and down. That's how it seals that off. This is just a protector, so you don't hit it with wood, and they obviously railed that thing pretty hard, it's bent. This is a used unit here. Here's where you set your temperature. This is for your outside lights. But the important thing is, is this control here. Wood only, clean start, dual fuel, fuel only well on the wood setting it's only going to use wood on the clean start when it calls for heat it's going to start the fuel oil or propane what have you to get it warming up in there that way when the wood does start burning instead of smoldering so much 
this is burning most of the smoke already. And then on dual fuel backup, when it gets cold enough and the wood isn't keeping up, then the fuel kicks in. So if you uh, can only fill this once a day, but you don't want to lose your heat, you set it on dual fuel backup, you fill it your once a day, when you come home it's burning on your alternative fuel source. Or if it's a bad year and you're totally out of your wood, you can run this thing on strictly alternative fuel alternative as in propane number two fuel number one fuel you know this opens up there's your pumps there's an outlet up here where they plug into fuse for uh, your light and there's your main switch there's some diagrams and stuff how to uh, plumb this up in here. Double walled stainless steel pipe. Spot you can get in for your clean out here. This one was actually installed inside of a building. And they did not have a proper thimble there. They just saw. Uh, basically put a whole bunch of silicone and blackjack they also had a propane line running through the stove instead of the back for some reason so that was fun getting that out well, I took a little bit to get chewed out of there but that should work so that hole I made inside should be somewhere in here I think it should be about there because I'm somewhere in between the two poles if you see there yeah, not the not the dent but the seam in that wood there that should be where a post is and right here should be another one And I believe I was off the edge of this container by about two feet. So it should be about there.
Found the hole, guys. Almost centered in my trench. set on some silo staves for now I'm guessing uh, next summer I'll have to re-landscape in here a little bit it's a little dark in this corner here but I got uh, the old furnace gutted and turned into an air handler for hot water put a little bit bigger unit in here than I had planned on I went and uh, changed how the thermostats were mounted on the wall here. I added a block of foam behind some old, uh, I don't know what that is, PVC material. And these are actually Wi-Fi thermostats. Um, they're both uh, CT80 made by Radio Thermostat. But the one on the bottom is apparently a slightly newer design. So, this is the one I'm using for the air handler. This is for the Modine up on the wall. This one, I don't have an internet card in it. Um, this one actually acts up. The, the backlit don't work. And this one, it does. And this one, I had trouble connecting to the internet and stuff. It was originally in my house. But I have one that works in there now. I don't know if they're even making these anymore. I've had them for quite a few years now, but and there's my thermostat set up. Uh, I got the boiler sitting at a little bit of an angle. I didn't do a very good job of leveling this here but seems to be working fine um, got a pretty warm fire going in there right now I just have uh, one pump hooked up uh, when I bought this um, they had two set up they had one for uh, a hot tub and then for their house, but um, as you've seen in the inside, I just ran um, pipe inside the tube. It's not a very long run. I'm not too worried about it. If it's got a little loss, um, I can I can always change it in the future if I really wanted to. I would uh, like to hook the house up to here sometime anyway, so. But that might be a while. That's a that's a lot further run, and um, a lot more work. I got a little bit of uh, wood stacked up here. Um, been cutting some as I go. I have plenty of dead trees and stuff out in the grove. But that's uh, what's heating my shop this year for the most part. Still have the propane Modine heater in there if I need, but got all this, uh, this wood laying around in my place. Wanted to put it to use. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. 
Take care and God bless.